Hi, uh, today I'm going to be talking, this is Svetlana, and today I'm going to be talking about one question that goes around, well, everybody's asking all every dancer online, it's like what's their favorite ballet move, and I think like almost every company and every ballet studio that is existing, especially the main ones, including like ABT in San Francisco, they all answer that questions, you know, like they would say, well, oh, our favorite ballet exercise, let's just say frappe, or... I don't know, Garbulet or, I don't know, Grand Jeté or whatever, like they all give all kind of a different exercise. So I've been asked that question too, a um, couple times, and uh, so I will answer. So, <laughs> my favorite exercise in ballet, standing. <laughs> no, I'm joking with you, not standing. Of course not. Uh, my favorite exercise, I would say, it's actually not an exercise, but, well, you can call it an exercise. It's going from the, it's doing point work, just going simply from plie to straight leg, to pl from plie to point on two legs. Doesn't matter what position, first, fourth, fifth, doesn't matter. I will tell you why, actually why. It is a very, that simple Consider that it is a very simple, just go up on a point. Well, I found that going up on point is actually makes you to engage the muscle, muscular work more. You start feeling your body a little bit more. You actually start to understand where your flaws are. You're feeling like, for example, like where the foot is sickling, where there's not enough pressure, where you start to feel that the legs are not straight enough where you start to feel where your butt fall out and you um, where you're feeling like you don't have enough strains maybe to go up where you feel like you don't have enough stamina maybe to sustain it and that's yeah that's what I would say this is my favorite exercise in a way because now when I'm going through the training and trying to really understand precisely how to train the body it's actually very important to understand all of the uh, little flaws that the body has, little misalignments um, that the body has, and then you kind of like, when you go and work on it slowly, you start to really appreciate, uh, because that's the only tool that you have, your own body, doesn't matter how it looks, that is what it is, you know, that's what you have and that you have to work with, you know, and uh, you start to realize actually that you can actually appreciate your own body, the mind, you start to be connected to the how the muscular works, work, to the muscular work, you start to appreciate yourself even that, as like, oh, okay, so this is where the misalignment, this is the trouble spots, you know, this is what I need to work on. Okay, let's do it again, let's work through that slowly, let's take one time, and t like one step at a time. And I also notice that in the same time, it creates that a little bit emotional frustration if you suddenly realize that you want to do something more perfect, like you 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 picture and like you know I'm gonna go on point like this, you know for example, and then suddenly you realize and it's like you're not doing it, and in the moment, it might be from emotional side very very like frustrating, and you might be even upset a little bit with yourself that you f feel like you know that you're not working hard, you're not trying to that you can be, like, you, you're not doing it perfectly. <sighs> and this is what it's interesting, that's where you kind of start realizing, it's like, to learn about yourself, that you're experiencing all of these emotions at the same time, and how they are in the way, and um, you want to take them apart, like, aside, aside, those emotions, like frustration, like, I didn't do it right, and put it aside and start really start to look and okay so we're taking the motions out let's put just the let's just work on the muscle and then you start looking at it like, oh so it's just a pure muscular work and then when you get a little bit stronger and then suddenly like in let's just say in some couple whatever days or whatever you feel a little bit stronger and then you're like oh it actually works it actually go you can go up a little bit on point and sustain it and hold it and you feel kind of a little reward it's like oh i'm a good girl i did this Ooh, somebody says nice things to me that i did it and yeah i mean it is it is really 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 important that it's you feel that and i noticed that 
how hard how hard it is to disconnect your expectation emotional especially like what the, because you look around on the internet and you see all these beautiful people doing it and then when you look at them it's like oh, I can do this you know and so you start beating yourself up for this and I notice that it's like it's not helping at all it's not beneficial in any way so yes it is a hard moment where you start to realize okay I'm gonna take my own emotions that I want to look like them and be perfect like them and you start like okay I'm going to like my own body the way it is and I'm going to be working with it. You know, so I'm going to take the emotions what I want, what I want or picture and ideally and I will work with what it is. And it is a very interesting thing where you start to suddenly realizing about yourself and start to appreciate your own body and then you're treating your own tool, your body with some well, you're trying to be respectful, let's call it like that, to your own body. Okay, maybe I should take care of it. Maybe I should really look at it more diff like different, like start beating it up and say like, oh, I'm just not good. No, no, no. My tool is good. You just need to work on it, perfect it from different angles. And yeah, and when I notice that and when you start changing the thinking about that, it becomes the most amazing things when you start to feel and that's why yes the simple answer if somebody asks me like what my favorite exercise in ballet you just simply go on to a relevant point plie, plie to point or straight legs to point on two feet on two on two legs that is my favorite exercise you know because it brings yeah awareness to your own body and what you need to work on or not so yeah that's what it is Anyway, thanks for asking that question. I hope you like the answer. And I will see you guys next time. All right. So have a good one. Okay. Bye.